All right, I feel like I've done this video like a billion times already. I know you guys haven't seen it, but I've done remade the video uh, several times. I don't know how I want to display this, or I don't really have any great ideas or great, um, great, I guess, environments to stick this in. But this is where I'm going to be keeping this at for this Halloween for right now. So I still have this over a year. Somebody was asking me how it's holding up. And I've used this throughout the year. Um, Halloween is its biggest use. All right, now I've got everything hooked up into the DMX. So when you have the cables hooked in, it's stuck on there. But let's see, where's the, there's the end. I'm gonna unhook this from my computer. I'm just gonna turn all my lights on. <laughs> all right, so. All right, let me. I think I gotta undo this one also. There we go. Yep. All right. So when it, when you have no DMX and I'm and a lot of people that first get this machine, if you don't already have DMX software or fixtures or anything like that, you're not going to be using it. So these will be your options. Everything else can be done straight through the computer or through a control panel like an Obey uh, 70, for an example, is what I first started out with before I jumped to doing it on the computer. So, go menu for your fog output, timer interval. That's how long in between times it are, of, of shots it'll, it'll go through. You can have it set for 25. You, you make your adjustments here. Just by pressing up and down. So say every 96 seconds you want it to shoot for 25 seconds, it'll do that at 100%. You can set your DMX address right for me as one. It's only it only has one channel, so it's uh either 100% output or 1 to 0% output. Wireless, you can turn that on and off. The fluid sensor. Um so it says it's on. I never got a notification about it. I know I ran this almost completely dry one day. Uh, when I was, or one night when I was trying to make this video and I was going through all the different fog and stuff like that and I never got a single alert so maybe that needs to be looked at. I don't know if it's ever worked. I've never ran it that far low before. So we'll go back to fluid sensor. On the keypad you can turn that on and off so this way if you go like there we go, yeah. So you can turn all the tones off. I turn I just leave it on. Um where's my key? Oh yeah. It's got the it comes with this little key fob looking remote here. Which if you have your DMX cables hooked up, it won't fire it won't fire with the wireless. But with it, you can Let me hook this DMX back up so that my lights over here quit going off on all these random sequences. There we go. And once you do that, it'll switch automatically to the DMX which will render this useless. It'll go to your chosen uh, channel. So there's several things I like about this. Uh, a lot of the videos I made at night for this, actually, the problem I was having with trying to get it to fog up the neighborhood was I was using the wrong type of fog. And what I mean by that is they make a formula for kind of like indoor outdoor settings and then one pretty much for theme park attraction and outdoor applications and I wasn't using that one that's the swamp juice here is for the outdoor and I had I was running the bog fog through it so the bog fog is great for whiting things out and so is the swamp juice but this one is specially formulated for outdoor and 
I just picked up some quick blast for this year so this way I can still run my fog I got a low-lying fog out here that I've that I have from that I made with a trash can so um, yeah hold on I gotta go shut this light off out here real quick all right sorry about that so I get a little bit sidetracked when I see things aren't working the way they should be and I'm not talking about this I'm talking about I've got some light fixtures I got one here and one over here but uh yeah this thing is great I actually took some time to clean up the nozzle because that thing was completely covered in like caramelized um, fog juice which I'm very familiar with because of these things so I know that was causing like a kind of like a burn smell when it was when the nozzle was getting hot it would just sit there and constantly smoke because the the char from the thing the uh, fog juice was actually on the nozzle and burning up so it was like introducing a burnt smell to my fog so that's gone now um, I think uh, oh yeah see this is almost completely run out like you can probably see the the water line right, right here for the juice and that's when you're empty and I'm not getting an alert and I'm not I wasn't getting an alert even before I hooked up the DMX so I think that might be an issue that needs to be looked at but other than for that you got like I said outdoor indoor and then quick glass which can be used indoor or outdoor and it probably better suited for at least like covered outdoor applications not really like open outdoor because the fog is gonna go everywhere and then just dissipate and you're not really gonna get the effect you're going for so supposedly this the quick blast here is super thick fog like uh, whiteout conditions like these but they only last like a couple seconds like at theme parks so you will see me trying to take several attempts at trying to get like outdoor fog at night with this running to fog out my neighborhood and I did it successfully a couple of times uh, there was a couple of nights where I was making recordings of these videos I'll include them in the video here but uh, at night when I was doing it the wind wasn't working in my favor it was either blowing too fast or not going the right direction to do anything or like I said, I was using the bog fog instead of the swamp juice, and it was just dissipating too fast before I could like, get in my truck and go around the block. But uh, I guess a lot of that also relies on humidity in the air too to help carry it and hold it in the air longer. But even without so, I could still get it at least the next street over without any humidity and dry conditions, even when it was like slightly windy. Uh, but yeah, so enjoy the video. You'll see what this thing's capable of. I, there's only so much I can show you here while it sits here. Like I can, I don't have a tripod to hold my phone and I don't have anybody to hold my phone. Uh, outside, so this, because everything's controlled on the computer. Through, uh, through this little, you can call it like a dongle. It's called the uh, Intec DMX USB Pro. And I've got that on a 50 foot USB extension cable that has one of those little repeater chips to strengthen the signal so it doesn't have, loss, have any loss of signal and it gets the direct signal as fast as possible. So I can make instant changes to my fixtures or the fog machine through my computer. It does have an Edison plug. So the way these work, if you're not familiar with them, it's got this little button here. You just click it up, or you slide it up, and then you rotate it, and it'll pop right up. It's got a 
couple of these little tabs here so you can't put it in the wrong way they're all different sizes so you can't you got a small you got the fat got like a medium small that I can't focus on there we go and then another small so you can't put this in the wrong way so it can only go in one way and you put it in there and twist it and you hear that click let me shut up so you can hear it click so you hear the, the pin here locking down so this isn't going anywhere you can I wouldn't suggest it but you could probably pick this up by there I don't I'm not going to because this whole machine weighs like 40 pounds and you might be able to like pull up like maybe two pounds of force I don't know don't do it but it does if this if you do break the uh, breaker on here it's got a reset you just click this push that button in real fast and it'll reset it the warm-up time on here is about four to five minutes it'll go through its wireless pairing stage when you first turn it on even if it's hooked up to DMX but when it registers it's on DMX you can't use this if you do have it on DMX it won't tell you that it's warming up or heating up it's been heating up and warming up for me previously before this video so that I could just run down and do this video real fast because like I said honestly I'm, I got tired of remaking this video over and over and over and over so i'm not really good at this whole youtube thing on my phone and i don't have any proper equipment to like make any i guess real videos that everybody likes watching so but yeah, you got you've got two five pin dmx and two three pin one's in one out in and out so you have uh several different applications and ways to connect to make sure that you can use this through your computer or through a switchboard actually let me go get that real fast all right so here's the switchboard that i was talking about so this one's a little bit more easier to use you don't have to use this one you could use like a four channel or five channel and i think they even make three channels somewhere for like the cheaper lower versions but um you can just set this by setting your fixture by clicking it here it'll automatically read what fixture is what you don't have to program anything as far as just connecting it goes you just plug it in and then move your slider out this the, each each you don't feel any it's uh sorry let me take a breath uh, so you don't feel any clicks or anything like that but each value from from down here to here has a numerical value between 0 and 255 so that's 0 and that's 255 so you just kind of just do it like how you feel like for the or as far as fixtures go but for the fog machine you can have it so 255 and zero this will be off down here is off and this is at 100 percent you can hit it and do like in between ish and do 50 percent power output And this is the middle of the day right now. Man, that wind blew half of this back into the, into the porch here. I can't see anything. This is over GMX at 100%. It was running for a couple of seconds before I ran outside and started the video. But this is during the day. I mean, it's white. I, you, I can't see. Cool. 
So for the fog here, I got it set to right 100%. This will be about, I'll just say 50% and then zero. We've got my other lights and fixtures and stuff set up here and different programs over here. So I could just hit swap it over to turn everything on at night or turn it off. So it might, I made it a little bit simplistic. I still want to run down, probably drag this and drop it to the bottom and then have stuff in between. So this way the fog will automatically turn on. So new program two here, sit here and have it at 100%. Then save it, and then it'll automatically switch over to this one, shutting the fog machine off. So that's how that's done to uh, set things to automatically run. But uh, yeah, so like I said, I'll shut up now so you guys can get into watching how this looks at night. All right, so for this output, uh, to show you the output on this, here's your typical 1000 watt Spirit Halloween fog machine. And yeah, 1800 watt Titan Pro. So uh, I don't have a remote for the Spirit one, but I have the timer remote that I can do from here. Um, the more professional one does have a wireless remote. So let me just go ahead and hit this so you can see this. I mean, that's pretty decent. That's not bad. Let me go ahead. Toss that aside. Let this clear up some. Actually, let me shoot from over here. So, that's not too bad. It's a decent amount. Except, still setting up for Halloween, but. Alright, so it's cleared up enough that it's not so thick that the light doesn't look yellow or orange anymore and that you can actually see the fog machine I got my phone here on a little kids chair as a prop so uh, this is probably a good 14 feet away from the fog machine and here we go Actually, we'll go ahead and do like a widescreen shot here from right across from Mr. Dark here. So you can just see like, actually, hmm, I'll still do a widescreen. I'm going to move over here so you can see just how quickly this expands. Turn that light off. And then I'll do a full continuous burst until it turns off. Let's, uh, oh, I'll start this here and now. <laughs>
Okay. So I started that at 20 seconds on the video and it ran for, oh boy, oh, oh, wait, yeah, there we go. I started running again, 10 second wait time. So it's uh, 10 seconds in between. Let me go ahead and turn that off. 10 seconds in between shots, and I think it was about a minute and a half of a continuous shot. But yeah, you can't see anything. You can see Lord Raven over here because all this wind is coming in. you can see this guess you can't um, well I know you can see down the street at least but I'm gonna wipe this out down the street let me get this moved and get that set up where I normally would put it at and you'll see how much is capable of fogging out the entire neighborhood. All right, so now I've moved this more closely to where I normally would keep it at. Um, this is on an extension cord, it's on a 10W or 10AWG cable, because this is does require, I think it's a 40 amp power supply or 20, not power supply, but circuit breaker. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. That's new, it's not supposed to be doing that. There go, that fixed it. Alright, so just so you can see is a clear view. I think the wind's actually blowing this way. So everything's clear. I wanted to do this when there was more light, but it's too windy today to do it during the day or even when the sun was up. Alright, so I was going through some of the video for this video. And apparently a lot of it ended up being corrupt. Um, one of them actually several of the videos I had after I switched up to this the swamp juice down here uh, was corrupted unfortunately uh, it did fog out my whole entire neighborhood there was one night I was running it just to get some video footage and I didn't forget the fog machine was on or anything because I heard it and you can hear this a good 40 feet plus away when it's running um, but I had a neighbor walking down the street screaming fire in the middle of the night so I ran outside thinking something on my patio was on fire like one of my animatronics and I looked around and didn't see a fire and I was just like oh yeah fog machine so I mean this is the level of fog this thing can produce I really wish I could have got that clip on there I did start recording it when she said fire and then started walking on the street when she saw that I was standing here and uh she didn't say anything she just was just like oh you scared me I thought it was a fire and then walked away so <laughs> yeah that was that was a trip that was really cool but uh definitely worth the buy and before we go I just wanted to mention too you don't need to you have like the full length of this this actually will come off from here and detach so you can have like a smaller compact thing it comes with the hanger here let me loosen that up
so that you can hang it. I think it's uh, from zero plus minus 40 degrees. It comes with your safety hangers here, 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 and here. So this way when it's being held up and if this were let go from uh, the ceiling for any reason for whatsoever, I don't think it would. I mean, it's you'd have to actually have that fail and this screw fail. But in the event that it does, you can hang uh, wire clips on four points here to the ceiling so that if that if it lets go from the, the hanger or let's say the hanger broke then um, it's not going to fall on somebody's head and it gives you some flexibility for this so you can have this pointing you know kind of like down at the ground like that without having this on there if you have it in a tight space like I said you can take this whole thing off and then move this jug off to the side somewhere all right well I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching I just wanted to give you a quick reminder that a lot of the night sh shots was done with the bog fog so it's not hanging out at night around the neighborhood as long as the swamp juice has been so Thanks again for watching, and if you have any questions, don't be scared to leave a little comment, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.